Hi! Welcome to my house in the Dominican Republic. I'll show you a little bit around so you have an idea of what it looks like. Because I share an apartment with other girls, we only have one room each, so it needs to be our sleeping space, studying space, and workspace. If you're an online teacher, then that means that you will probably set your classroom in your house. It's not very complicated nor expensive to do so, and every teacher has their own style. So I'll be sharing what personally I like to do. My desk is quite small, but if I want more working space, then I just add my laundry basket. For storage, in my closet, over here this is the box of the things i use the most often so whenever i work then i just pull this out and i can put it right here on my laundry basket for your classroom background it can be pretty simple plain or have some nice decorations as long as it doesn't take the attention away from the lesson the way i set my desk there's a background really close to me so no one can go in or out of my frame. What I did for my background is I used an old magnetic whiteboard I had and I covered it with contact paper. It has a nice marble pattern and I can use it to put my name, a world map, and reward systems too. It has a little string in the back so I'm able to hang it on my closet for my classes. And once I'm done teaching, I just put it back next to my desk and I have my personal space all over again. I saw some teachers had the clever idea of using shower curtains and they can change them anytime they have a class and have a different theme. I spoke with two other friends that are also online teachers and they use old sheets that they cut up in large squares and they paint a different background on them. Most teachers that teach Chinese children online have to work before the sunrise. That's when artificial lights come in handy. I have a lamp that is just on my bookshelf and that I can move around to light my face nicely and uh, avoid having shadows. I'm careful with the direction of the lights because I wear glasses and I don't want a weird reflection or also I don't want to create weird shadows where I look like I'm in the horror movie. <laughs> By turning on your webcam, it gives you a better idea of what the children will see uh, for your background and the lighting. When I'm traveling, I have this ring lamp I can use and I can just clip it here. One thing though I've been uh, experiencing is back and neck uh, problems and I think it's due to my bad posture. I bought on Amazon for $12 this laptop stand which helps to have a better posture. It also helps my computer so it doesn't overheat. I don't use the keyboard so often, so I have a Bluetooth mouse here. It's really easy to bring the laptop stand with me. Someone mentioned trying out a standing desk and before putting any money in it, I wanted to see if it was something that I would personally like and um, I found a really cheap way of doing it. So I bought this foldable stool. Uh, that I can put on top of my desk and then put my computer on it and it's good and we can still see my background I just need to move around the magnets um, so it's well framed but uh, it's good so far and I can quickly change it in between classes if I want to sit down or continue teaching standing up so now you see what my classroom setup is like, simple and minimalist. This is what works best for me because of the space and also my style. And what do you guys do for your classroom setup? 
please comment down below. Thank you and happy teaching! Bye!